got my new helper here to intro the next video. It's a good kitty. This is Harley. Well, next up, I bought some of this here uh, Platinum Multi Vehicle ATF Full Synthetic, and it's Dexron 6 approved. Bought six quarts, we're only going to need five. And what I did here is I got an empty oil five quart oil jug. We're going to measure out exactly how much fluid we've drained. So we're going to use this bottle for it, and then we'll know exactly how much to pour back in. Takes the guesswork out of how much uh, we need to add. So let's do it to it. Alright, so on this Impala with the 3.6 and the uh, 6070, you need an 11 mil socket on your little 3 8 ratchet. And we're going to try to find, we're going to get under here, right under the frame rail. See, we're on the driver's side here. I'm going to try to get this camera up under. I got my trusty pan ready to go here. We got the light shining under. I'm going to try to get this iPhone under here so you can see exactly where the drain plug is. So, we need a reference point. Coming under here, there is the frame rail on the driver's side, and look up right there is the drain plug. That's it. Pop that sucker out, you should get about five quarts of fluid out of your transmission. This car does not have a uh, removable pan. What, I'm, what I've been doing is I've been, uh, twice a year, I've been draining out five quarts and replacing five quarts. Just simple little, you know, cycle some fresh fluid through. It's not like a complete flush, but what does it hurt? This fluid's a decent price. It's easy enough. It's better than dropping the pan. So if you have one of these Impalas, why not just add it to your preventative maintenance routine. So I decided against using my little extension. And since my tripod really can't sit down here, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. on it. Alright, I'm going to try to get this tripod situated somehow so I can use both of my hands. Okay, much better. See the cross member? I did put the extension back on here. A couple turns on this plug. She comes free. And my fluid is still nice and red. I probably didn't even need to do this. Let's see if we can zoom in. I think I changed, I did the five quarts probably last October. So we'll let that drain out. So while we're doing that, I'm just gonna reach down and uh, pop up the old dipstick just to let it air out. Now that I got my uh, catch can hoses in the way, I'm gonna have to use a different funnel to fill it. Let's see what she's doing under here. Still draining. Oh, 
Well, I'm to the point where it's just dribbling, dribbling out. I don't know that I quite got five quarts out. But the fluid looked pretty damn pink still, so not too concerned with getting everything out. So I'm just gonna wipe it up and put the plug back in. We'll get that plug in there, we'll clean up a little bit, and then we'll measure how much we took out. And that's how much we're gonna replace. I just want to mention that I uh, I let the car, the car's been sitting overnight and the fluid's been in the garage and so the fluid going in should be the same temperature as the stuff that I just removed. Alright, we'll get her nice and snug. Alright, let's get this pan out of here. Okay, I'm gonna try to zoom in on how much food we got out. I don't know if that's gonna be quite, I don't think the camera's, oh, there we go. I don't know if that's quite five quarts, but. I'm gonna set up the tripod and we're gonna dump it into this here. Oil bottle. We're just gonna see how much we, Pour it out of here. I don't think I need to film this whole thing. I think you get the picture. Well, here we go. The drain pan has been emptied. And we'll zoom in on where we're at. We're just a little over four and a half quarts. I don't know, I drew that line thinking maybe that would be five. So we're somewhere between four and a half and five quarts. So let's uh, get to dumping. All right. Get my transmission fluid funnel. She's been wiped off. Make sure we get her down in there. Let's see. Yep, that's bottomed out. All right. I'm gonna tell you now, when I ordered this stuff originally from Amazon, the stuff they had listed on their site was a Dexron 6 only, and this showed up and I thought I got duped. Uh, I went on Bob is the Oil Guy and read up on this stuff. GM does not give out this Dexron license to anything that's not approved to go in their transmissions so don't be scared off if you see that you know it'll work Dexron, Mercron and many other import cars it will work I've been using it it's good stuff decent price link will be in the description and if you can see on the camera this is where you add it I gotta tell you, this is a great transmission. This is just a great powertrain altogether. So we're gonna do that four more times. All right, four quarts are down the gullet. What I'm gonna do to make this even more scientific is one of my empty bottles here, I'm gonna take this and empty this down to the 4.0 mark, just so I know how much of that next quart and we'll count the graduations on here and that's what we're going to put in for our final quart necessity is the mother of innovation MacGyver is the father don't ever forget that okay observe I got that down to the 4.0 mark and where are we at here let's get this camera to steady Maybe just a hair shy of 20 ounces. 16 ounces, 20, 17, 18, 19 ounces maybe, 17 and a half. So that's how much we're gonna pour in. 
So on this fresh quart, we're gonna we're go about 18 ounces. Let's just bring it down. There's 16, that's half. So if we bring it to 12, that would be 20. So we just a notch above 12. This is Jack Wagon Garage, not Sheldon Cooper's Fun with Flags. We're not doing nothing scientific here. No beakers, nothing like that. We're using what we have on hand. I'm gonna check and just make sure that that's on the camera. Not there yet. Ooh, just a little bit more. I'm thinking maybe I will go down to that 12 mark just for the stuff that's still inside that drain pan. What are we getting on the camera there? We're going to put a splash more in. We should be golden. Let's see how we did. Of course, we're going to need to start the engine and get it up to operating temperature with it in park before we get the actual level. But we're on the dipstick, and of course, it's going to read high when you're not in park. But it's nice and pink. So we're going to start the car and get her up to operating temperature. But if you do this, you should be in the ballpark. You shouldn't have to add anything else. Okay, the car's up to operating temp. It's in park, idling. I've wiped the dipstick and stuck it back in. Let's see if this get her in frame here. Focus. We're gonna have to add some. It's a little low. Let's add what's left of this fifth port. Apparently I had stuffed a paper towel in that funnel. <laughs> Let's try this again. Now it's going down. Make sure you get this all the way in. Focus. And I think that topped it off. Well, yeah, oh, let's get that in frame there. Come on, iPhone, focus. Well, as I try to get this to focus, there we go. Look at that. That's right where we want it. I hope this was informative. Be sure to check out my other videos. Got some more stuff upcoming in the months to come. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Any questions? I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner. Thanks for visiting Jack Wagon Garage. I really appreciate it. Peace out.